Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna change some human facial features. Open a portrait photo in Photoshop, preferably of someone facing the camera, and then in the Layers panel, right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object, so that way we will be working non-destructively. Now go to Filter, Liquify. In the Liquify Filter dialog here in the Tools panel, select the Face tool, and Photoshop displays these two curved lines here and here, showing off its capability to automatically identify my face. When you hover the pointer over the face, you can see these on-screen controls that you can use to modify the facial features. This handle, for example, is called Face Width, and if you drag it like that, you'll be controlling the width of my face without distorting my eyes, which is great. Also, notice that the Face Width slider is changing here on the right hand side. By the way, if your photo contains multiple faces, you can click this drop down menu to select the face that you want to adjust. Let's move this jawline handle here, the chin height, and the forehead height. You can also adjust the mouth controls by changing the width value, the upper lip, the lower lip. You can make me smile a little bit, which is creepy. Sometimes you can control a slider that doesn't have on-screen controls, like the mouth height. Other times you can control facial features that don't have a slider control, like the mouth position. You can drag this control point to adjust the nose height, this one to adjust the nose width, and just drag the nose to adjust its position which doesn't have a slider to control. You can change the size of the eye by dragging the diamond shape here, or you can use these points to change the height only, or the width only. You can also tilt the eye using this control here, or drag the whole eye to move it around. If you want your adjustments to affect both eyes at the same time, find the link icons here between the sliders, and activate all of them. Speaking of the sliders, you can use this one to change the distance between the eyes. To accept these changes, go ahead and click OK, and notice that your edits are stored in a smart filter that you can turn off and on. You can also double click on the word liquify to open up the dialog box again and make more adjustments. So go ahead and experiment with the Face Aware Liquify features in Photoshop CC 2017 and what is happening 